on a much improved line from the first hole. Oh, it's ideal. Right in the mayor's office. Seven iron breeze still about the same as it was during the tee shots, helping into that corner. It may have been the right length had it been straight, Dottie, but it's found the right bunker. But, you know, Keith volunteered to do it during the middle of the week. It was going to do it on Saturday at 18. Of course, they never got to 18. As we go back to the second. Awesome shot there for Rose. That just a tap in to tie the lead. Right foot slipped. Trevor, he has barely these little nubs That's on these right. shoes, and they are so flat. That's a little uncomfortable on the left. Well, it is in the middle of the bunker, but steep uphill second. We stay tall. Got that wind hurting and from the right. Stay right. Oh, this is really good, Dottie. Brandon Wooshaw was good. That was even better. Magnificent. He's two back, but this would tie the lead. Gonna just miss that mark. And Dottie. That is his third eagle in three rounds. A hole in one at Spyglass round two. Really, the gusts have played down a touch. It's more consistent. I'm told this is a lob wedge. Okay. Keep going. There you go. Eagle birdie at six and seven for Rose. And he jumps out into the lead at 15 under. It did a nice job of not charging people for admission today, and it's yeah. free to come in on 17 mile drive. Very nicely done. It's uh, up the left side. Oh, it's a great angle in, but it might have just found the, the rough on the left. 114 playing closer to 122 or three. Down, down. Severe slope here on this 11th green from back to front, but after the changes a few years back, it's uh, it's much better. A lot more hole locations available. Now, Rose has had a good chance to see that line. He was all over that, Ian, walked in as soon as Peter hit his. Yes, and Rose makes three at the 11th. He goes to 16 under and a two shot lead. That's a hold off swing. It's turning over just a little bit left half for sure. Scoots past that bunker. It's a little bit of a break. How fast did that time go? He hasn't forgotten what he has to do, Donnie. No, you don't forget how to compete. That's a good shot. Every now and again, they just fall in and not trying necessarily to make it. That tends to be how he hits putts, too. And another one. Absolutely perfect. Fairway and a good number, and you've gotten your job done. Should be at. Well done. Yeah, right there where the guys in the group before them were located. That uh, just a little log wedge up the hill. Right. the same part that Keith Mitchell had. I just wonder if he caught that just a hair oh, thin. I agree. It worked out beautifully. Not seeing them all naughty birdie surely is a reminder to keep the pedal down for Rose. A lot of work left to do. How about that for Rose? Maybe about two yards of push wind in their face right now. That is very high. It starts right at it, Ian. 
Great shot for Rose. Tidy and powerful. It's been all about this one today, though. Just a nice, gentle little feed down the hill. And it'll be a three. And head to the last three in front. Yep. Out to the right, but no threat to do any damage. You think you think it'll be loud out there? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> new new all-time decibel record as Rose lays up. All he needed, bunkers Pretty. out of play. Nothing special, but a special moment. A little left. Good enough to wrap it up. This happens to drop it B65. Hey, a big uh, nod. That story has unfolded. Justin Rose back in the winner's circle. Justin, it took four years and a Monday finish, but you are officially a PGA Tour champion once again. What's the overwhelming emotion as you realize what you just accomplished for the 11th time out here? Yeah, I mean, time flies by, doesn't it? It's amazing how long it's been. I did happen to have my breakfast this morning. I saw that come up on the Golf Channel, like 86 things and, you know, how many missed cuts. And I'm like, hmm, that's not great reading. But it's amazing how time does fly. And, you know, this is just a moment to say thanks to the people that believe in me more than probably I do. You know, my team have been incredible. Um, obviously, my family at home, Kate, Leo, Lottie, this one's for you guys. I wish you were here, Pebble, with me. I mean, what a place to win a tournament. Um, unbelievable. But, yeah, to my squad, really, there's been a lot of people who rallied around me. And um, just had an unbelievable week, obviously, as well. My partner, James Gorman, as well. And, uh, you know, wish he would have been side by side with me today. Obviously, unfortunately, amateurs couldn't make it. But, yeah, incredible week from start to finish with so much happening in my favor. This week had a lot happening. The Monterey Peninsula threw pretty much everything it had at you in this entire field. What did you have to lean into the most to make sure that you never let any of those distractions get under your skin, wear you down, and continue through? You know, that's the beauty of this tournament, and I think you should only come and tee up if you're going to willing to kind of have that attitude this week. You know, obviously, there is a lot going on. There's amateurs. There's, you know, the odd bounce on the greens or bobbly putts or, you know, forecast that doesn't make sense. So, you know, there's a lot that can be thrown at you, but it's a wonderful tournament, and I hope this tournament still continues continues to go from strength to strength because, you know, it offers something different to, to the rest of the schedule. And, uh, yeah, like I said, you know, when you go side by side with the amateurs, I think there's something to that that maybe, you know, keeps me a bit more mellow as well. So uh, I've got to learn from it. <laughs> 42 years old. You're just getting started this season, Justin. Thanks, Congratulations. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.